got my parcel in the mail early. Yay! And then you flip it over and all I got was my keyboard. This is so cruel. So, so cruel. I guess I can practice typing while I wait for the computer part to come. <sighs> guess you have to wait for some better videos. I'll go do an update then. So the kids tank is doing awesome the next day. Just gave her Betta a mare so he could get a little bit of just flaring in. Looks like he's ripped his bottom fin on something but I'm not too concerned. Definitely enjoying the space. Well, hey fish fan, I just wanted to give you an update on the battle ball. These are all of my babies, they're all first generation. I will more than likely be taking these to the local fish store soon. Here's one of the girls. one of the rents. We'll see if she ever grows up. Pretty solving. So it is late at night. I'm just letting these guys have a little bit of extra exercise for the camera. This is a heated room, so these guys are currently being heated, another one of the girls. Little boys in the back there, sorry about the glare. This one I'm debating if I should grow them up a little bit more to take to the my local fish store auction. Auction, I guess, per se. We'll see. It's in October, I do believe. It's kind of like between this guy and this guy, which one to keep. So we're up to level two. I do have two levels here, one down here, one up here, and I've got a third shelf here. I just can barely touch it. <laughs> so this is shelf number two. This guy's also pretty nice. And yeah, these are still all my babies. This hatch was my first one here. And I'm so overwhelmed, so overwhelmed. Please remember, if you breed these guys, you might have 200 some odd babies to deal with. I did get a couple that have got some oddities on them, like this guy's fins are not quite correct in the bottom there. He's definitely just for a pet, somebody's pretty pet. This is one of my dragon scale females. Um, this one is potato. As soon as I get back from our zoo trip, I want to try and bring potato here. I think she's my best one. If you guys see any of the other females you want to see beside her and give me an opinion on, I may line them all up yet and do that. And I want to breed with this guy. This 
Okay, let me know what you think these guys will do. This is also from my Dragon Scale Mail, one of the old ones. I had a hatch of four, a total of four. This is the mail I got out of the deal. And the last one there. This is the second hatch from my Dragon Scale Mail. I had much better luck the second time around, but I did take them out. These were hatched with methanol blue. And though not the greatest turnout compared to my other one, I'm still quite happy with the numbers. I like that guy right there in the middle. Should be interesting to see what comes out of him. But the female I used was a patterned female, so... Sorry about the green, that's the duck lead on the top, as you can see. <laughs> Makes everything green. There's a little update on my plants. They're still living, still growing. I'm just wander over to the prada tank there, and yeah, even that's growing great. That's my pothos plant. Growing lots of roots in here. Give these guys a little bit extra. See how shiny. And yes, they are quite social. They do move around a lot in there. They're just big. They may not swim in circles, but they do interact. She's trying to swim away as I'm filming her. My one bristle nose pickle. These are my mollies. Still no babies. I've had them for, well, a year and a half. Never had any babies. Probably from the salt problem. They were probably bred in salt water. I do have one little cryptocorn growing right there. Well, thanks for watching, everybody. There's kind of an update on the fish room and all the bettas. Peace.